All right, what's up, Tycoon? Super excited for today's video. We are looking at forward slash ES on the volume profile on the weekly chart. Okay, this is going to give us some really, really good, important, critical macro information. Okay, so make sure you watch to the end of the video because I'm going to break down the VIX, which is the volatility, aka the fear index. And I'm going to show you how we are at record lows right now and how it could mean that the market could keep pumping or we could see a very quick reversal in the VIX and see a downturn, okay? So we're gonna jump straight into the video, all right? And again, as I emphasize, we are looking at the volume profile. So what I want you to notice from right here, if we go over, we are at currently a high volume node area. We're at the top of this high volume node area. So it's a very, very important pivot point, okay? We are either going to pivot from high volume node to high volume node to the upside, or high volume node to high volume node to the downside. This is exactly the pivot point, okay? So if you're unsure whether to go bearish in the market and short stuff for the next three months, whether you're unsure to go bullish and long stuff for the next three months, this some video is gonna be important and very critical, and it's really gonna break down everything for you and hopefully teach you something, okay? So what I want to know is that we move from high volume node to high volume node, all right? And that is what I am emphasizing, okay? We have a volume gap here, all right? Volume gaps are where uh, price tends to quickly move through, right? Price is gonna move quickly through a volume gap to an area with high volume nodes, okay? So when we were down here at these critical levels, okay? Um, I was looking to see, are we gonna drop quickly down into the 3,200 range or are we gonna recover and come back up to this area here? All right, now we hit that 3,500 range, 3,800 range right in between here. And we have now progressed to the next high volume node right here. Again, I want to point out how critical it is. We are at the top of that high volume node. So price is either going to move very quickly. Okay, we're going to look at it again. Price is either going to move very quickly, all right, to the upside into this area right here. Okay. And that would be the 4,500 target range roughly, all right? Or we are going to move back down into the 4,000 range here within the next month. Now, lots of analysts have been projecting a bearish fall, right? So a bearish September, October, and possibly a bullish November, December, all right? Now, one thing I do want to emphasize um, about that is that if we look at our weekly chart, for the futures, okay, for the S&P 500 futures, we are approaching the top of this bearish channel, all right? We have been respecting this bearish channel, okay, bouncing off the lows, all right, and getting rejected at the highs, all right? So, you know, I do think that the current stock market has a little bit more room to run up. There's so much bullish sentiment, right, with, between the uh, Fed rates, okay, and also the CPI data, all right. We have PPI coming out tomorrow is going to be very critical, but it's it's very hard to tell. Right. Are we going to push up towards this level here? And if we do, are we going to break out? Because if we get the breakout, OK, above our our resistance level here, right around forty two, forty three hundred, we are going to move up towards that forty five hundred high volume node that I explained to you guys. OK, over here in this area. All right. So within the next week or two, I expect to see a pivot in the market. OK, we're either going to come up and break this trend line and head upwards and the stock market is going to continue to pump or we're going to get rejected down here and possibly come back down towards this area between thirty eight hundred and thirty five hundred on the S&P 500 futures. OK, we're going to take a look at VIX now and go ahead and go over it. I'm going to show you guys the main things that I'm watching. All right. If we look at the most recent chart that I showed you guys, it's been making lower lows um, on the price action, but higher lows on the RSI. That's what's known as bullish divergence. We negated all of that bullish divergence today. OK, so um, again, if we look at the chart on the VIX, we had this very nice trend line. OK, this bearish channel from here to here. And we got rid of that bearish channel. We actually had a bearish breakdown to the downside, all right? Now we found some nice support 
right around the 1950 level, okay? And that was kind of our bottom. But VIX below 20.50 is historically a neutral market, right? And if you look historically, the stock market has been super bullish. So an average or neutral bull market um, is, is, again, in the stock market, right, for the S&P 500 is normally bullish. So the average market normally goes up, right? We're in those lows right now. Now, the main thing I have to point out is that I wouldn't go long in the market currently, okay? Because ever since we had quantitative tightening, these have been our main levels, all right? I'm going to zoom in on the chart and there's a lot of price targets, but I'm really going to break them down, all right? So this one right here is our main level that we're going to be watching for, okay? It's going to be 2095 and 2201, all right? And 2308. If we stay below these levels, I think we have potential to keep bullish in the market, all right? The reason I'm saying this is because we have our lows, all right, all the way down here at 1845. This is where previously within the last year, VIX has bottomed out at, okay? So there's still plenty of bullish upside, right? We see clearly that we got the rejection right around 2095 today. We came lower. OK, and VIX gave us a clear signal with the rejection up there that volatility was going to drop. OK, now, does this mean the stock market is going to continue to rally? Possibly. But what you have to look at is we are at the bottom Bollinger Band and typically price action moves from the bottom Bollinger Band up to the middle Bollinger Band. OK, so if you see a pullback within the market here soon, don't be surprised, okay? That's the main thing that I'm saying. But overall, we're still very bullish, right? I would say below this level here at about 23, 28, okay, is, is where I think the market can still go bullish. But if we break that level, all right, we could start seeing the eventual pullback, right? But we know that our recent lows, okay, within this year have not been till 18 45 on the fix. So we may see something happen like this where it comes up, bounces off this middle Bollinger Band, gets rejected, and keeps heading lower, right? If you want to stay bullish in the market, that is your signal, okay? You want to get bullish positions on the market when we either get a rejection here at 2095, okay? Or when we get a rejection here on VIX at 2201, or when we get a rejection here on VIX at 23.28. Those are your three levels to go bullish on the market, right? Right now is not a super time, super good time to go bullish on the market. A lot of the, uh, like, you know, we'll, we'll pull up SPY real quick, okay? And we'll go to the one hour chart. And I just want to show you guys that it is, um, it's, it's, it's essentially a little bit overbought, all right? Um, so we'll zoom in here. All right, and take a look at SPY and really break it down for you guys and go down to the one hour chart. Okay, and I want to look at uh, what drawing set do I have up? All right, here we go, right here. Okay, so we're going to emphasize a lot of the main support and resistance levels and go over this chart pattern here that is a bearish chart pattern okay so it indicates that the s p 500 may drop within the future right we have this ascending wedge which is a bearish pattern right we have these two trend lines here we got the breakout to the downside this breakout is either going to continue all the way down to our 413 level or pre-market okay within the next um you know by the time you watch this video to the next day we may hold support here at these levels and come back up to retest this pattern before getting the full move down to possibly 413, okay? So keep that in mind, all right? We have some bearish divergence um, also on the daily chart, right? If we go to the daily chart for the S&P 500, okay? And we'll zoom in here uh, just so it's a little bit clearer for everyone, all right? And we can just see um, again, that, you know, we have this bearish divergence. All right. It's actually on the one hour chart here. I'll make the trend line a little bit better for you guys. So everyone can see. Okay. But you know, look what happened. We created higher highs on the, uh, stock price. Okay. 
of the actual S&P 500, as indicated by this trend line to the upside, but we actually created lower highs on the RSI, which is the relative strength index, all right? Now we have a very strong support level on the RSI at 50.09. This has been a common area where the market has bounced, okay? So I actually got into call options towards the end of the day, all right? Um, I expressed in the morning, all right, that, you know, the market could go bullish above 422, right? And we ended up hitting this price target here of 424.94, all right? And dropping, and we had many, many members in the Options Trading Tycoon's Discord get puts, which means shorting the market at this level. That was a great, great entry, okay? Now, me personally, I didn't um, enter more puts because I was already holding puts and looking for a rejection at this area, and, um, you know, I wanted to see us fall back down, right? So what I did was actually grab the hedge against my puts at this level because this was our previous day highs, okay? So we can see that on the yesterday, okay, we actually topped out at this level, and to tell if you spy, right, the S&P 500 is going to continue a bullish uptrend, typically it's going to create a high and then a higher high, right? And you're going to have a pullback, but possibly that pullback is for a continuation to make new highs, all right? So um, even though I am bearish on the market because we have this descending wedge pattern, we have a nice one-hour candlestick breakdown, um, I'm anticipating a possible move to the upside as a hedge, right? And if we do get that move to the upside, I'll close my call options and roll my put options and just grab more put options for the ultimate move downwards, okay? So um, appreciate you guys watching the video. Hopefully this video provided some value and we learned something new. And with that being said, I'm out.